Can you hear me? Good morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Next, we are moving to disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. Undergoes oxidation as well as reduction. Same element undergoes oxidation as well as reduction. For example, 2H2O2 is 2H2O plus O2. You know that this is for oxide in minus 1. Here it is minus 2. Here it is uh, 0. Oxygen is undergoing minus one to minus two. That is, it is decrease in oxygen state, that is production. And the same element undergoes you see minus one to zero. It is increasing the oxidation state. Increasing the oxidation state means oxidation. So the same element is undergoing oxidation as well as production. So the reactions are called disproportionate reaction. Hydrogen is the same as H1, H plus 1 plus 1. So hydrogen is the same. Here the same element undergoes oxidation as well as reduction. Such reactions are called disproportionate reaction. In other cases, we learned. One is undergoing oxidation, other is undergoing reduction. For example, Fe plus Cu2 plus, when we put iron alien copper surface, then here it will be Fe2 plus and Cu. That is, iron is undergoing oxidation, while copper is undergoing reduction. Even the state, zero. Iron is undergoing oxidation, while copper is undergoing but here, the same element is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction. One more example is there, that is P4, P4 plus 3NaOH plus 3H2, give me 3H3 plus Na2, NaH2PO2. NaH2PO2. So here, phosphorus 0, phosphorus 0. Here it is minus 3 and plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1. So the same phosphorus from 0 to the same, that is oxidation, from 0 to minus 3, that is reduction. Oxidation as well as reduction. Same phosphorus is undergoing, phosphorus is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction. So we call it as disproportionation reaction. Next we are moving to okay, right one question. Suggest a scheme of classification of the following. Suggest so a scheme of classification. Suggest so a scheme of classification. I'll divide it some example. You say whether it is combination or decomposition or displacement or disproportion. These four categories we classified for logs reactions. First one, N2 plus O2 gives 2NO. B, N2 plus 
plus O2 gives 2NO. 2NO. 2 Pg. So first one is complication reaction. Second one is decomposition reaction. So we can only left right with this is getting decomposed. And third one is displacement reaction. Non-metal displacement. Displacement reaction. And the fourth one is and the fourth one is disproportionation. Here, nitrogen is in plus 4 state, nitrogen is plus 4 state. Here, the nitrogen is plus 3 state, while here it is plus 5 state. So, from plus 4 to plus 5, when there is an oxidation, that is oxidation, and here, decrease in oxidation, that is production. So, this is an example for disproportionation. The same element should undergo oxidation as well as production. Next, we are moving to balancing of product solution. Balancing of product equation. By two methods, one is oxidation number method and is half reaction method. some example how to balance. Write the question. Write the net ionic equation. Write. Write the net ionic equation for the reaction of for the reaction of K2Cr2O7 K2Cr2O7 with Na2SO3 with Na2SO3 in an acidic solution in an acidic solution to give to give Chromium three ion. Chromium three ion and sulfate ion. 
So we need to find So red ion. So here, net ionic equation it is asked. So what are things of reacting? Reacting is take to CR closer, take to CR closer, and Na2 SO2, Na2 SO3, and they said chromium three plus ion, chromium three plus ion. And sulfate type SO4 to minus. They said net ion equation. This is not to be ionic format. So, what should be the ionic format here? Here it is Cr3 plus. So, here you have to take here Cr2 to minus. Cr2 to minus. And so only that portion is required for the metallic equation. And then it is SO4 to minus. So which portion? From this portion. So here SO4 to minus. This is the next ionic equation. Now uh, you see some ions are there on the left hand side, some ions are there on the right hand side. So next ionic equation we have written and we have to balance it. We have to balance it. So first and foremost, let's find out which is undergoing oxidation, which is undergoing reduction. Which is undergoing oxidation? For that, individually, you have to find out the oxidation states of each and every element. So then only we can come to know which is undergoing oxidation, which is undergoing reduction. So here, in this Cr2 O7 2 minus Cr2 O7 2 minus means uh, 2 Cr plus you know it that is minus 2 into 7 is equal to minus 2. So Cr is plus 6 in Cr2 O7 2 minus into Cr. We are finding out Cr. Cr is equal to plus 6. If that is a product charm, then that charm you have to here. So this is plus 6. And in this thing, this is uh, minus 2, minus 6, minus 6 plus sulfur, there is minus 2. So then it will be sulfur plus sulfur is plus. And here it is plus 3 given. And here sulfur. Sulfur S and minus 2 into 4 is equal to minus 2. S is equal to plus 6. S is equal to plus 6. So we have a sign. Oxygen everywhere minus 2 or A minus 2, minus 2, A minus 2. So, which is undergoing oxidation? Chromium is undergoing. This is per atom. This is this plus 6 is per atom. Per atom. So, you have seen which is undergoing oxidation, which is undergoing reduction. Now, the next step is uh, other atoms, other than hydrogen and oxygen, you balance. Other than hydrogen and oxygen, you balance. So, here, actually, Per atom there is decrease is 3 and then per atom increase is 2. Per atom increase is 2. Plus 4 plus 6. That's per, per atom increase is 2. Here per atom increase is 3. So first of all you balance other atoms. Alright? So you balance the other atoms means chromium. How many chromiums here? Two chromiums. So we are putting chromium, uh, chromium here two. Alright. So chromium two. So here one chromium, one chromium. 
that is from plus 6 it is changing to plus 9 so two problems the change is what 6 the change is 6 the change is 6 so here one sample changing to plus 6 only one sample is there so the change is the change is so one sample plus four to plus six. So the change is two. Now actually we were doing in the beginning what per atom. First we find out per atom what is the change. Per atom what is the change. Accordingly to change the number of atoms. So here per atom it is per atom it is three. So here, per atom, per atom. So what you have to do, you make number of chromiums to, you make number of chromiums to per atom equals 3. So you make it as 2 and here you make sulfur 3. Make sulfur 3. We have already on balancing two has come. Now Q, make the sulfur, sulfur 3. That means you multiply this by 2 and you multiply this by 3. Multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 3. The aim is that you make this chromium twice chromium. And you make this sulfur three sulfur. Okay. Make this chromium. Yes, we need two chromiums. We need two chromiums. And we need three sulfur. We need two chromiums. And we need three sulfur. Accordingly, you change the number. So what I am going to do? I need two chromiums. Here it was C R2. So it was like this. Before it was like this. So CR2 here. So two chromiums. I also make it as two chromiums. Here I also make it as two sulfur. So here two chromiums are there. Two chromiums are there. So I am putting two chromiums over there. So one chromium plus three. Another chromium plus three. So all over the plus six. Now, one sulfur, two. So, how many sulfur should be there? Three. So, what I am going to do, CR2, O7, two minus, plus SO3, two minus, this. Here I am changing it as price, three sulfur. I am changing it as three sulfur. Three sulfur. Chromium I should have two chromiums and sulfur I should have three sulfur. Now oxidation and reduction are is equalized. So first you write per atom, per atom, what is the change? That is 3 per atom, here 2 per atom. So what you have to do? You multiply that by 2. That is multiply a chromium by 2. That should be 2 chromium. That is the idea. That should be 2 chromium. And here, multiply by that 3. If that should be 3. That should be 3. Accordingly, we do that. Now we go to write this. So, the next thing is, Find out the total charge on left hand side and total charge on the right hand side. So here we here what is the total charge which is minus 2? So 3 into minus 2 that is minus 6. Here it is uh, plus 6 and here minus 6. Right. So total charge here minus 8. And here, in acidic medium, 
in acidic medium, the question it is given acidic medium. In acidic medium, the charges are to be balanced by adding H plus. So how many H plus? It is the required side. H plus I am adding. H plus I am adding. I am adding plus. So here I shall add to this minus portion. Then only I can equal this to zero. So I will be adding what? Eight H plus. Eight H plus. Eight H plus. Now you balance this hydrogen. This extra hydrogen we added. That extra hydrogen needs to be balanced. By putting the required number of water molecules to the other side. So, how many water molecules I shall add? I shall add four water molecules. Then only H. So, I will be adding four water molecules. So, this is the balance equation. This is the balance equation. Now, this is the first method. Now, we will be doing the basic method that we will do in the next class.